Hey friend, welcome back to RGD Gaming, the least toxic, most fun commuter in all the gaming. Have you ever been playing a match, you're winning lane, your late game jungle has some kills, you won a team fight, took dragon, and then all of a sudden you lose the next three team fights in a row and you lost the match? Well, if you have, then this video is for you. I'm going to talk about how to get ahead, stay ahead, not throw leads, what to do if things start taking a turn for the worst, and then ultimately how to win more games. And you know what? This video is going to apply in reverse. And what What do I mean apply in reverse? Well, Wild Rift is actually built or made to have swings back and forth so that a team that's losing can come back out of nowhere. Very few games are actually lost until the match is over. No matter how bleak things look, the enemy team can always throw or somebody on your team can almost always make a great play. So you'll see I'm in uh, Champ Select here. I saw that my support picked Lulu, and so what am I doing? Picking Jinx with Lulu, because they go together very well. And we also have a Yon, a Jax, and I'll, I want you to, not that I don't want you to focus on my champion, but keep an eye on Jax in this match, because what he does is particularly interesting, and actually every champion really here is going to be interesting for what they end up deciding to do and some of the choices they make. We're going into a Draven, which means we really need to play safe, and Draven Nami can be kind of a nightmare to go into, but it's fine. As long as you play safe, you're generally going to be okay. And it looks like they got a Yi, so a little bit of a late game. Darius is always kind of a headache, and Aurelia also a headache. So it's a tough matchup that we're against, and they probably have the better team fight comp, actually, if you look at it. Uh, mostly because of the Jax really isn't great in team fights. I mean, he can do some things and you need him there, but it, it is what it is. Um, so you'll see that we're heading the lane. I, I did the speed up thing. I got some feedback that you guys liked it, and I'm happy to do that if it makes things a little more palatable. I mean, just watching Jinx run the lane. Okay, so right there, I'm pinging retreat. Why am I pinging retreat? Because Lulu is sitting at the end of the bush, and I really don't want him to get hit by Nami and engage on my Draven. We want to hang back a little bit, farm up, and just really not get too crazy until we have a good rotation, or for some reason we're able to get a little bit of a lead or a little bit of an advantage on them, and we really have to pick our spots well, as where Draven really wants to press the issue here, and push the lane in and chunk us down, because he will chunk us down if we try to fight him. So you'll notice I'm just playing relatively safe, farming up we got some action in mid and our mid goes down so that's unfortunate they get first blood but also not the end of the world especially because what i mentioned in the beginning of the video that the game is made for swings back and forth um, even if somebody gets a little bit ahead oh missed the minion there but that's all right so he's doing exactly what a draven should be and pressing the wave in and actually causing me to miss two minions now so that's a good job on his part i'm in kind of a weird spot and it's almost like i don't know how to farm anymore <laughs> so but but again that's all right you really can't let yourself beat yourself up over missing a few minions especially when you're pressed in and so that is exactly what i didn't want to happen but i want to get a little bit of damage it looks like they use their ability on us so that's okay too um, so really what we want to do is try to get this wave out of our face and then be able to reset here. And we go down, but we also get one of them. So now we're one and two, and we're able to get some damage on the Draven, and then fortunately not get hit by Nami's abilities there. Um, so you can see my team's playing, you know, it appears to be a little bit aggressive, I think has Yon, has Yon both died both those times? Maybe it was Jax that went down. But you'll notice that my Yon, actually, if you pay attention in this video, he plays very aggressively, which I tend to like, uh, but it comes to a point where you don't always want to be the aggressor and you need to really play aggressive in certain spots and then not in others. And when you're just always aggressive and permanently aggressive, the other team can take advantage of that. And you'll actually see towards um, the middle of the match and, and towards the end of the match that the enemy team does take a lot of advantage of our Yon, how aggressive he is and how deep he's willing to go in order to take fights and try to get kills, which kills are great. 
but kills don't ultimately win matches. Objectives do, winning team fights do, but one-on-one -on -one kills don't necessarily win a match. It's always nice to have, you know, you get a one-on-one -on -one kill and then you go to a five versus four team fight, but at the same time, when you're just chasing people down, really not the decision you want to be making. Um, so, let's see what happens. Jax is roaming the mid, which can be a good thing. And now I'm in kind of a weird spot. I, I don't really want to be where I am because I'm cut off from Lulu, so I, I just need to walk around. Even if I miss a minion or two, it's okay. Um, you don't... It's not worth taking probably even one hit by Draven or risking getting caught by Draven and Nami there in order to get a minion or two. Because um, we really don't want to give them the kill and give them all that gold. Especially a Draven. Um, Dravens can be a nightmare when they get fed. Uh, so what we're going to do is just hang back and ping. Or, I'm sorry, and farm up. And now we get a good rotation, so what do we do? We step up and we fire our rocket. And we're fortunate that we're able to... I mean, I didn't get the kill, but that's exactly what we were waiting for. So our Nautilus wraps around back and we're able to get a kill, and that's perfect. So, be patient, especially when you're a late game champion like Jinx. I know I said this about a hundred times in my last video, but you don't want to get crazy when you don't have to. Wait for the rotations, and that's what we did. And so here our Yon is in a little bit deep, and let's see if we can't stop them. Uh, but I really want to be doing Dragon. Nautilus is heading this way. I'm going to hang out here. And But Jax is in bot. So, you know, there's really three of us. If they rotated as a team, they could take this Dragon for free. Uh, because Jax wants the tower. Which, you know, first tower is good. But at the same time, grouping with your team is just almost always better. So we do get first tower, which is nice. And now we're actually in another great spot here with Draven. We get to exhaust him, and we're going to get another kill. Okay, so this match is going perfect. We have a kill, we have an assist, we're ahead of the Draven already, and let's see what else we can do here. Oh, we do get ulted by Nami. Now we're in a weird spot where Aurelia can get us, and Yon gets a double kill. That's the aggression paying off, which I do like. So now what we need to do is head back and take Dragon. Quit screwing around in mid, and get over and take this dragon so that's a really good start for us and you don't need to get out of there and not die Lulu uses Zalt on him and I kind of want to head over to Rift Herald but they already got it so that's no big deal and we should probably just reset head back to lane make sure that we don't give Draven a free tower here all right, so great start. We're nine and three. Our team is, you know, I'm one zero oh, and two against the Draven, so that's perfect. And I am, uh, you know, I can carry us if we can keep that up. Let's see if I can hit with a rocket. I'm sort of firing blind. I accidentally, I was firing the rocket, looking across the map, and not realizing I'm walking into Draven there. That, that's what happened. So thanks for the heal, Lulu. Uh, try not to make that mistake. I should have just stopped, fired the rocket, and then kind of walked up but that's okay all right so what we need to do is just farm up waves we don't want to feed draven and help him to get back into this game because this lane is one at this point and so i'm playing a little bit cautious i'm gonna wait for a roam somebody to rotate looks like yon is coming and so now i'm kind of looking at to see what's going on and i want to step up a little bit and so Yon does, you know, he's in really deep, but he gets a kill, so that's great. And let's see if I can get a kill with my rocket. I can't, unfortunately. Now, Aurelia's on her way, but there are three of us here. And so let's see if we can get her to step up. This is a little bit of a bait, because I know Yon's here, so I'm able to exhaust and then trap her with my choppers. And boom, we get another kill. So what we want to do here is shove this wave in real quick and then get out of there because Darius is on his way. And so I need to just keep running. I, I can't stop Darius and it's a mistake to do anything but get out of his way. We also have Yi heading up here and so I just need to make sure that Darius doesn't get a free tower. Our Jax is pretty deep right now but you know Darius is up here and I really want to reset because I'm low on mana but I get ulted by Nami and so you know I'm sort of stuck here. If I head back now, I'm pretty much giving them the tower. 
and I really don't want to do that. So I'm going to just try to play as safe as possible and farm up the wave, and then if I can trap them with some choppers, I will step up a little bit and do that, but I really don't want to fight. So now I'm going to be able to get my reset in. Oh, nope, that was a fake. I'm going to stay. I saw I have two of my teammates rotating, and so I am kind of baiting a little bit. Um, you know, I'm, I'm stepped up pretty far because I want to uh, try to get their attention, and fortunately we're able to get another kill here, and I don't even need to waste a rocket on that, and then we're going to be able to take the tower. So that was good. It was good that we ended up staying. Actually, unfortunate for Nami to alt me because I, you know, I wouldn't have been there for the turret, but that's okay. I mean, I see what they were trying to do, just hold off on my reset, hope I leave, and then give them a free turret. But now we've got Darius gets a kill on Lulu. I don't even know. Lulu was just really deep. Oh, and Yon. And so that's what I was saying about that Yon playing aggressive. I was like, it's good to be aggressive, but now I'm kind of in a weird spot here, and I need to back off. And I'm not going to be able to get out of there. And... This is one of the things I'm talking about. So we're ahead, we've got a lead, we're taking towers, no problem. We've got an objective spawning, and Yon goes into their side of the map, gets killed, and then Nautilus kind of hangs out there for a bit, and I wait for Nautilus because I think, you know, maybe it's the right thing to do, and then I die too. So when you have a lead, try not to do, you don't need to get super crazy and steal every single jungle camp from the enemy. You just need to press your lead, group at objectives, win team fights, and you know make sure that the enemy doesn't you know do anything crazy. Like if the enemy's stealing all our jungle camps, okay, go steal theirs. But if they're not doing that, stealing an occasional one is fine. But ultimately, what you really want to do is team fights, press your lead, and win at objectives. Because if you take Rift Herald and Dragon, which you know we got Rift Herald there, so that's great. And now we should be grouping at Dragon. But instead, we're in pretty deep here, and Yon is going in one versus four there. And so now I step up a little bit too far because I think, oh, I'm trying to help Yon. And what happens? The Darius is able to engage on me. We end up in this really weird spot again, and now three, four of us have gone down. Okay, so what happened there? We went in too deep when an objective was spawning, and really what we should have been doing is just setting up vision. We definitely need Jax in order to win any fights against the enemy if it's 5 versus 5, because they have a Yi, a Fed Darius, and we really need to stun Darius and sort of just have him not be able to engage on me, because I'm going to be a lot of the damage for the team. But uh, we didn't do that there, and so they are able to take advantage of it, and now they got a dragon. And so you can see and you sort of feel that the tide is turning. The Darius is getting ahead, and now we're sort of in a weird spot where we kind of want to fight only if Darius isn't there. Uh, but all he really has to do is, well, when Yon runs right into him. Okay, so now I know he's, Darius is there, so I just want to set up vision. I'd like to farm this way, but at the same time, I'm not willing to die for it. But Nautilus runs right to where the Darius was. So I try to set up choppers and exhaust and then get out of there, but I'm not able to. And so I waste exhaust, flash, and they still get four more kills. And the reason they got the kills was initially because Yon went in, got the kill, died. Nautilus just runs right into Darius like he wasn't on the map. And then I went in and tried to save him. And I'm not saying it was even right of me. Like, I was probably wrong and I should have just ran. Lulu and I should have just ran. Because we'd still be alive and we could defend some stuff now. Like, or, you know, might have been able to defend the tower there. under Stayed underneath it. And if nothing else, we at least could farm and wouldn't be dead. Just waiting for our death timers to go up. And so now, what was a great match that we were ahead is pretty even right now. It's 20 to 17 for kills and one dragon to one dragon and so we're in a really weird spot where our team needs to realize that we need to win a team fight and that's really kind of the only hope we have but what's happening so Yon is way up by himself Jax is nine miles into the enemy jungle Nautilus goes in I guess to try to save him even though he's dead and so now I sort of step up into a weird spot and Lulu follows behind and we really can't do that um, 
you know, that kill on Aurelia is not relevant, and we'd rather have Yone alive so that he can stun in a team fight, or if a fight breaks out, he can use his stun and help us out. But now, you know, we're just hoping they're not doing Baron, which I guess they wouldn't be necessarily because he's dead. But we're just in such a weird spot right now that if we don't group, there's really nothing that can be done because I can't win a fight without my entire team there. Um, even with, you know, Lulu supporting me, there's really not a whole lot I can do because they can just die me. I mean, they have Aurelia, Darius, Yi, and I just really can't withstand that heat. And so what's happening now? Darius is able to get a hold of Lulu. We're in a weird spot, and he's so fed that he does three quarters of my health in one execute. <laughs> Which seems really ridiculous, and I wasn't impressed with it. You'll see I typed something in the game. Um, but he has three quarters of my health, executes me, and then he also did, you know, two-thirds of three quarters of the health of the uh, Jacks. You know, Jacks Fortune didn't die. But now, like I said, the tides have totally turned. It's 23 to 22, and... The only hope that we have at this point is a five-man group and pick off somebody on their team because five versus five, I don't think we win fights. Um, I'm not sure that we can win unless we get like a really good engage by Nautilus. But even if that happens, we're still in a weird spot because they have Darius so fed. Uh, but you'll see what's happening here is Jax is in bot and let's see what he's about to do. He shoves it in. Okay, so this is a perfectly fine play. Nautilus, honestly, I don't know what you do about that. I mean, the fact that all five of them were there, there really wasn't an objective spawning. And then I get caught as well. And this is the first time that we're down a kill. Um, Yone flashes. It's probably the wrong way. Although maybe he was just trying to be tricky about it. And now their Yi's getting kills. And so they're going to have fed Darius. Draven's actually crushing me at this point, and our team wants to forfeit. So, what happened here? We took bad fights, we got way out of position, and that's why we lost. Hopefully I see you on the rip, and hopefully this video helps so that you don't do the same thing. GG.